We all know that interviews are an important part of the recruitment process. They are used to assess the suitability of candidates for different positions within an organization. One of the many fears of man is to be caught unaware. Simply put, the fear of the unknown. You never know what could be flung at you. Whether you're still in search of a job or you happen to be a human resource manager, this series is for you. Now, here are the types of interview questions you should know about. Manners on the go. Welcome to Manners on the Go. I hope you've been minding your manners. I appreciate your stopping by my channel today. Thank you for the gift of your time. If you've been following me for some time, you're welcome again. But if it's your first time today, you are in the right place. You're most welcome. I've been on a couple of interview panels and I thought to speak to the kinds of questions you will encounter at interviews. I'll be doing three series on this topic. Hopefully, these videos will get you better prepared for any kind of interviews that you may encounter. One of the many fears of man is to be caught unaware. Simply put, the fear of the unknown. And answering interview questions are one of the many tricky moments you can find yourself hanging in fright. You never know what could be flung at you. We all know that interviews are an important part of the recruitment process. They are used to assess the suitability of candidates for different positions within an organization. During an interview, the interviewer or HR will ask a series of questions designed to gauge the candidate's knowledge, skills, and experience. Whether you're still in search of a job or you happen to be a human resource manager, this series is for you. Now, here are the types of interview questions you should know about. The first one is the behavioral questions. These questions are designed to assess how a candidate has handled specific situations in the past. The interviewer is looking for examples of the candidate's skills, experience, and behavior in different situations. For example, tell me about a time when you were able to handle a difficult customer. What did you do? And how did you handle the situation? A good answer could be, in my previous job, I encountered a customer who was upset about our service. I listened carefully to their complaints and empathized with them. I then offered several solutions to try and resolve the issue. In the end, we were able to come to a satisfactory agreement and the customer left happy. The second kind of questions that you will encounter at job interviews would be the technical questions. These questions are designed to assess a candidate's technical knowledge and expertise. They are often used in technical roles such as IT, engineering, or science. For example, can you explain how a binary search algorithm works? A good answer could be a binary search algorithm is used to find a specific value in a sorted list or array. It works by dividing the list into two halves and checking if the value is in the first half. If it is, the algorithm repeats the process on that half. Otherwise, it does the same on the second half of the list. This process continues until the value is found. Now, the third kind of questions you will find in any interview would be the situational questions. These questions are designed to assess a candidate's ability to deal with hypothetical situations that may arise in the job role. The interviewer is looking for the candidate's problem-solving skills and ability to make decisions. Example, what would you do if a team member were not pulling their weight? A good answer could be, if a team member were not contributing to their agreed goals, I would approach them to understand their perspective. If it is due to personal issues, I would work with them to find a solution. If it is due to a lack of skills or knowledge, I would offer to provide training or mentorship. If the problem persisted, I would escalate it to my supervisors. Other questions you will find in an interview panel would be the open-ended questions. These questions allows the candidate to provide detailed and comprehensive answers to demonstrate their knowledge and experience. The interview is looking for the candidate's communication skills, problem-solving ability, and overall understanding of the job role and the organization. For example, tell me about your experience in managing teams. A good answer could be, in my previous job, I managed a team of six people. I was responsible for providing guidance, setting goals, and creating a positive work environment. I regularly met with each team member to provide feedback and address any concerns. 
I implemented several initiatives that improved productivity and reduced employee turnover. You have the chance to speak more when it's an open-ended question. Now, another type of interview questions you should know are the brain teasers. These questions are designed to assess a candidate's critical thinking and problem-solving skills. They're often used to assess candidates for roles that require a high level of cognitive ability. For example, how many tennis balls can fit into a school bus? A good answer would be, I would estimate the volume of the school bus and the volume of a tennis ball. Then I'll divide the volume of the bus by the volume of the tennis ball to get an appropriate number. So, there you have it. These are several types of interview questions that an interviewer can ask, ranging from technical to situational to brain teasers. For your next job interview, make sure you prepare thoroughly by researching the company and the position, practicing how to answer common questions. Trust me, with proper preparation, you can confidently answer interview questions and increase your chances of securing a job offer. If you found this video useful, just stay close for the next series where we can get to talk about common interview questions and answers befitting. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to share. See you again. Goodbye. Manners on the go.